Hey, Camilla. Hello, Patricia. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's lovely to see you as well. How are you? I'm great. What about you? I'm doing okay. Yeah. It's been a long time since the last time we spoke. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How are things there? Are you at, in the same city? Yeah. So I'm, well, I'm in Vermont. Did you mm -hmm. know that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Vermont. I'm actually at my parents' house right now because mm -hmm. um, it's still summer holidays, but yeah, we'll be heading back to Vermont soon and getting ready to start another school year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's good. So I wanted to say thank you for, for you to accept to join this project of mine. Um, I have been uh, having these conversations about topics that are really important to me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, since we've had so many amazing conversations, like over the years, I, I, I really wanted you to be a part of that. Thank you. I'm honored that you invited me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not only once, but if you, uh, once you see how your schedule is going to be next, for the next month, I would like to have you more. Yeah, and I can always make time for you. Oh, you're lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so today I wanted to talk to you about the power of routines. Uh, I like to share some thoughts I have on the matter, and then I would like to ask you about your routine, or what do you think about it, how do you plan your days, weeks, and so... Uh, I, I I started to think about routines. I actually never had a routine, a strong routine. I would just wake up. I think that it helped before when I was studying in school, then college, because somehow you had that thing in which everything else would revolve around, revolved around yeah. it. Yeah, that's that's a perfect way to express that. You have something that your life revolves around or that everything else revolves around yeah exactly. beautifully said mm -hmm. exactly yeah thank you yeah. so and then after college i had a job uh, a traditional job so once again i would have a time to wake up i wouldn't have a time to go to bed but i would wake up at the same time have breakfast at the same time go to work have lunch and return home uh, and then the nights they would be not they wouldn't follow a routine at all but mm -hmm. I felt that once I started working like remotely with italki teaching online then I could like control my schedule and every day would be different depending on what time how many hours will I be teaching that day and and then I I, I started feeling I started feeling weird about it weird about it yeah, I started yep. feeling weird. Yeah. yeah, because everything would happen in different times. So I would I would go to bed and then I would look at my schedule on the following day. And then I would like, yeah, so I can sleep until 10 a.m. The other day, oh, this day I must get up at 6 if I'm teaching at 7. And I, with a lot of things happening all at once in my life, a lot of things and once I came up I came across a, a psychologist called Jordan Peterson and um, I read a I read one one of his books called 12 rules for life and in one chapter he said that when he's treating his patients with depression that has the who has depression who have the who have depression yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, the first thing is to uh, get a routine or at least if, it's, if, if it, that's not possible, at least a time for them to wake up mm -hmm. the same time every day. It doesn't matter the time that they're going to sleep, but they need to wake up at the same time. And I started like creating some habits and a routine. And uh, there is a quote by Aristoteles that, that said that we are something like we 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 are or we 
we are what we repeatedly do. So I thought, I, I, I need to, I need to like, I need to create a routine because there are so many things that I'm, and then I'm, I'm kind of bad at like keeping up with things. So mm -hmm. I decided to create this routine and, and at the same time as I, at the same time as I was thinking about routines, can I say that? During uh, the same time. You could say. Simultaneously? Like, yeah, or like as I was thinking about routines or while I was thinking about routines, mm -hmm. simultaneously something happened or? Yes, exactly. Okay. As I was as I was thinking about routines and I was trying to set some tasks, something, some habits for myself, mm -hmm. I came across, I'm going to show you, I came across this book. Um, this is in Portuguese, but David mm -hmm. Allen, he's an American writer. And he, in English, this book is called Getting Things Done. Mm -hmm. So I came across his, this method and it, it is very interesting because he teaches you how to um, organize your life in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So, it, and what I thought, I, I'm like reconsidering because, because I thought that, okay, so I have to have this list with 20 items in it and I have to wake up and I have to do everything that's on my list. So with this book, what I realized is that it's not... Can I say doable? It's not. Yeah, doable. It's, it's not, not doable. doable. It's not, not doable. like it's not possible. It is yeah. not possible unless you be, you, you be feeling bad because you won't make it by the end of the day and then you feel discouraged to keep doing the same thing. So what I've learned is that we, we shouldn't wake up every day and make decisions. We should think once a week. So once a week you sit down and you set, you, you set this time, this 20 minutes window, and then you decide everything that you, you should do that week, the projects that you have for the week. And you should not have more than five. And, and then you, have, you should have the projects of the month. And every week you will analyze or look back at what you've done and you make arrangements but it is kind of exhausting. What I, what I used to do was exhausting what, what most people do. Like they, they set the, they make the choices every day. So what am I going to do today? And a lot of energy goes in deciding and makes decisions. And it, it reminded me of something that Barack Obama said once. He said that he wouldn't make decisions on unimportant things like what, clothes he was going to wear because he already had so many important decisions to make that those basic and important things he would he wouldn't make a decision about that at all hmm. so a lot of energy goes into like uh which what am i going to wear today uh this street or that street so we should just you make the decisions once you think about the things that you want to do. So for example, for me, my routine right now, it's very simple. I wake up at the same time. I teach some lessons. I meditate. I journal, journal, mm -hmm. journal. journal, I journal, I read and I dance and, and everything else that I manage to do will be like a bonus because that's only that. And if I do something else, I'll be feeling like, wow, am I, wow, look at me. I'm so productive. <laughs> but it's that, that, that feeling is better because once I accomplish like the five items on my list, I'm, I could be spontaneous. I won't feel guilty about having a phone call with a friend that will last maybe an hour because in the past I would be like, oh, there's so many things to do. I, I cannot have this social interaction because it will take a time. I will tell you something. It's sad. In order to answer the messages on WhatsApp, I would set a time. I would time. I would give myself 20 minutes to answer to all the people who texted me that day. And that's really sad because I felt like I needed, I needed to be productive that I was, that I, and there also there is this age factor that I feel like I'm getting old and old and old and old, and I haven't accomplished 
anything yet and I need to hurry. But yeah, that's not the approach at I all. Think, I think there's some benefits though to what you just said about taking 20 minutes and having that time limit for, you know, looking at WhatsApp and answering to messages. <laughs> because that's, that could easily lead to an hour of just sending people things and responding. And I mean, it's nice to be able to have that time to send thoughtful messages and to take the time to really send like a, a nice text. But again, it could lead to a lot of lost time too. Yeah. How do you manage? Because I know that you live far from some friends of yours. How do you manage communication with them? Um, so I do have a lot of friends on WhatsApp that I um, am in contact with. And um, I've actually, you have <laughs> shown me the benefits of doing like a voice memo. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really, it's a really nice way to connect with people. So it it's faster, I think, <laughs> because you don't have to you, do the spell check and like, figure out, okay, did I, is this correct? <laughs> it, and it just seems more natural and it's just a beautiful thing to hear your friend's voice. Mm -hmm. So I'll send like a quick voice memo. Um, and I think that it's okay that if someone sends you a message and you don't reply for a few days, I think it's okay, mm -hmm. you know? And so... I really like the idea though of blocking out like 20 minutes and just setting yeah. a timer if necessary. I love it because I find that at random points through the day, I'll just check my phone and I probably spend a little too much time on it. Um, so I might use that. Interesting, because I was yeah. thinking about getting rid of it, of this system oh. that I, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm gonna try it and I'll let yeah. you know how it works for me. Yeah, yeah, because what happened for me was that I was I was rushing, I was rushing in it. Mm -hmm. I, I would look, okay, so I have like 10, 10, 10 chat box. Can I say chat box? Or 10, 10 windows? 10, yeah, 10 chats or 10 people. like 10, 10 conversations happening, 10 chats yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10, ch 10 ch chats happening. Mm -hmm. And then I would think, okay, so I have 20 minutes so two minutes for each and and then if I would see that I, I would give can I say slop slop answers or oh like sloppy? Is, sloppy 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 answers or hasty hasty uh, like I too don't quick know too hasty. quick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would give hasty hasty answers I I am a very deep person I do not do that I like to mm -hmm. You know, I like to take in, to take into consideration and, and give people more, you know? Yeah. And uh, the idea of me like, oh, okay. So someone r writes a text, a big text, and I'm like, oh, cool. I'm happy for you. Th that's so interesting. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then I, 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 I ask another thing and then I move on. To the next conversation so mm -hmm. that's not what I want to do at all but another thing that I thought I was I was talking actually with um, with a student of mine for this project about emotional minimalism and I think that maybe uh, sometimes we have and it, it, it is a bit sad because I wouldn't know how to do that but maybe there are too many people you know not not for me, but I think for everyone, too many commitments, too many things, too many, we, we want to do so much. And especially in my culture where we are so friendly and we make friendships so quickly and easy. But I was, I was wondering, do I have, I mean, it's, it's such a sad thing to do because I think we should have as many friends as possible. Mm -hmm. I, I always thought that, but now am I, am I going to make a friend out of everyone that I meet and how, Will that impact the friends that I, the friendships that I already have? Will I be able to be present? I have a friend, Patricia. Uh, his name is Talis. 
he has so many friends. I think he's changing, but he, he would go to church. He had a group dance. He, he, he has friends from college. He has friends from high school. He has friends from the neighborhood. He, he got involved in so many activities. And mm -hmm. I remember that uh, whenever occasion we would have like a birthday party or something, he would have three events on the same night. And he would go to my birthday party, then he would say, so I, I will be staying here for an hour because I have two or three or more other birthdays or weddings or dinner parties. And then he would stay for a while and then he would go, and I don't want that for me. Like, I want to be with the people that I am, met, that I am with without thinking that other people will be missing me somewhere. It's not manageable, but at the same time, how do you keep yourself from meeting people you know um, wow um, it, it, yeah yeah I, th I think it for me it kind of relates to what you were talking about about the to-do list for your day your week your month and a big part of it is making priorities mm. like so we can make these tasks priorities. We can prioritize them, like put a little star by it, like this I need to do this week. And I think it, it might sound silly, but we need to do that with people too. Like prioritize our relationships. Like if you, for example, if you have a friend that you see regularly and you know that if it's a normal week, you're going to see them twice a week and you see them all the time. So if maybe if they're having an event um, and then someone else is having an event that you really care about, but you don't get to see them very often, maybe instead of choosing to go to both of those events, you would say, well, I see this person every week and I haven't seen this friend in a while, so I'm going to choose to go to this friend's event and give my whole self there and just stay there and enjoy it. So I think it's about making priorities. I mean, that's what I try to do. That's wise. That's wise. Yeah, you, you are right. You are right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm curious about your routine because okay. you, have a, you have a, how can I, can I say, an outside job and, and a inside job how do you call um so i have a like a full-time job okay a full-time job or like i don't know if you're referring to like working remotely or working yeah. on site mm -hmm. so yeah i have a full-time job where i'm not working from home and i have to be there five days a week and then i call italki my second job which um which really came before my full-time job, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of my weekends fun job. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so right now I'm on summer break mm -hmm. or summer holidays as some people would call it. And <clears throat> routines when I'm working, my full-time job are so important. Like I have to wake up early to make sure that I'm there on time. And I wake up a couple hours early, earlier than I actually need to, so I can do my yoga practice. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's important to have routine and so you can stay organized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes. So what do you do uh, besides, I'm being, I'm being curious here, uh, <laughs> besides, besides yoga and work, what else? Okay. Help? So like when I'm, when I'm teaching, mm -hmm. when I'm year. So my typical day looks like this. I would wake up, let's say five o'clock and do an hour or so of yoga and meditation. And then I would prepare breakfast for myself and my daughter. So we could have breakfast together before we go to school um, because she attends school where I teach. So it's quite convenient. Mm -hmm. And then get to school, do my thing there, work. And then in the afternoon, it just depends on what's happening. Um, on Wednesdays, she would go to dance class. Mm -hmm. So we would, we would always go to this little general store and grab some snacks and then drive down to dance class. And then 
on other days when she doesn't have dance class, if it's nice out, we would uh, go to a park or go for a walk, just do something fun outside, you know, before we come back and have dinner. And then it's just winding down. Um, we winding, often, winding down? Winding down. Mm, what does that okay, mean? Okay, so winding down is when you are just taking your energy down a little bit mm -hmm. because you know that soon you're going to be sleeping. So to wind down means to just kind of release all the stresses from the day that you might be carrying mm -hmm. and relax and just try to be happy about how the day was, maybe reflect a little bit on your day. Mm -hmm. For some people, winding down would be having a drink, um, mm -hmm. having a glass of wine or something. And for mm -hmm. other people, winding down might just be playing a game, like if you have kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. dinner time, and then after dinner, we might take a little walk around the neighborhood and then come back home and read some stories and get ready for bed. Wow, it feels, it feels so peaceful. <laughs> wow, amazing, amazing. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like rushy. Rushy, can I say rushy? Or it doesn't seem rushed. Rushed. Mm -hmm. It seems calm, even though you have like professionals obligations. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't seem to me like it's your life like yeah to go to work and because for most people myself included work takes a lot of time of my of my mm -hmm. day and yeah. uh it it is difficult for me to uh be away from the screams or to be in a in a in a mode where i'm not thinking constantly about about work mm -hmm. yeah Especially because I have a friend who talks about work all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's very passionate about, about what he does. So Good. I think I, I, I would like sometimes to, I am too, I am passionate too. But yeah, I know. I, yeah, but I, I wish that I could separate sometimes, you know, uh, my personal and my professional life. And, and it's, it is not always possible. But for you, it seems that it's possible. It is, right? It, it feels that way. Yeah. Like on the, so teaching on italki, I'm always thinking about, um, and it's different. I'm trying to remember how it feels because we've been on a very strange schedule. So I was working remotely, even for my full-time job since March because of the pandemic. Yeah. So it's been a very different kind of routine. Mm -hmm. um, teaching on italki is always on my mind though, because that's something that is carried on through my weekend. Mm. So, so my weekend routine is kind of different. Like I know that on Saturday and Sundays, I typically wake up, do my practice, have breakfast, and then have a couple classes. Mm -hmm. And then typically in the afternoon, that's my free time and we'll just do whatever we feel like doing then. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe 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 it is a, it is the same, yeah. But I, I guess the difference uh, is that between you and me is that you have clear boundaries, boundaries, limits. Boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would. Yeah. There are things. There, there are other things that are important to you, and you, like you said in the beginning, you prioritize things like prioritize. time. Prioritize mm -hmm. like quality time with your daughter, your practice. Mm -hmm. that's that's so good I admire you so much as a person oh, thank Patricia. you I admire you too <laughs> you are and you are so passionate about so many things you're you're learning you're teaching your friends your life your your cats how are your cats <laughs> they're, they're great they're and great how do, how do they work into your routine it's interesting because now I'm creating a space for them. I oh. I, I am setting a, an alarm. I'm, I'm timing my time with them because I realized that I have five of them mm -hmm. and they would be, I how, how do you say, I'll be working and they would be there. They would sit on my, 
notebook and mm -hmm. I realized that they were like missing me. So now I, I sat maybe 10 minutes and I stay with one. I talked, I talked to this one and then I spent time. That's so silly, right? <laughs> I spent time with well, individually. It, individually with I, think them. It, I think it's really precious. I think it's really <laughs> precious, but, but knowing what I do about cats, I know a little bit about cats. Like even if you do spend 30 minutes with them, they're still going to want more. Yeah, of they course. Want yeah. More. They want to be around you. So they are going to be that, um, you could say a distraction, you know, yeah. they're always in the background. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But, but now I do not feel guilty about not spending yeah, time with good. them anymore. So that's good. Yeah. 50. <laughs> 50 minutes of my day are for them. Yesterday, actually, I was in a phone call with a friend and a cat was calling me. And then I felt kind of ashamed that I told my friend, you know, let me hang up because uh, there's a cat here calling me. I'll, I'll, I'll call you later. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. After I, I hang up, hang out, hang up. After, after, I, hang you, up, after I hung up. After I hung up, I was like, oh, that was weird, boy. but he gets, he gets. Yeah, he gets yeah. it. Yeah, he gets it. Patricia, thank you. Thank you so much. It was oh, so fun. You. It was so lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon, I hope. Oh, yeah, 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 me too. Me too. So okay, have a so wonderful day. You too. All right. Bye, dear. Bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank Bye. you.